Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne. This is called The Prophetic Supernatural Experience. This is uh, chapter 9. Uh, this is part of part 1, all about prophecy. And this chapter 9 is called Using Word of Knowledge, a Risky Gift. Uh, as we've explained in former chapters, Word of Knowledge is supernatural information about a person's life in the present or their past that you couldn't ordinarily know. Now, we've used it a few times, but for those who are only watching this chapter, or reading this chapter, Jesus used it at the woman in the well uh, when he said, you're correct. He said, bring your husband here. And she said, she, she has no husband. He said, you've spoken correctly. In fact, you've had five husbands and the one you're currently living with isn't your husband. Now, Only 40 years ago, it was pretty bad living with a man if you weren't married. You're called a bit of a loose woman. Well, you can imagine how that was 2,000 years ago. So Jesus put his finger on something there. Now, that was a word of knowledge. After that, she said, I perceive you're a prophet. She said, that's just so out of the ordinary, you must be a prophet. She jumped from him being an ordinary person to a prophet in one sentence. Now, words of knowledge do that. But there's a risk to a word of knowledge. In chapter uh, 8, uh, chapter um, 8, I said that uh, when you were 13, you fell off a bike, your brother pushed you off a bike. Now, if I had been wrong when I said that, I would have blown it with the person, but I wasn't wrong. Because normally when you get a word of knowledge, it's right. And so, but it's risky because if you're talking to a stranger or someone you know, if you launch out in a word of knowledge and it's wrong, then you blow all credibility with that person. Suddenly they know you're false or well, you're totally wrong and they don't want to pay no attention to you. But when you're right, you really get supernatural attention paid to you from the person. It's like it's like the cheese in a in a mouse trap. A word of knowledge. Once they take the cheese and you've given them the word of knowledge and they accept that that's true, they're open to everything else that you've got to say. In fact. Uh, Rick Joyner, who's uh, a famous uh, uh, prophet uh, person in America, he said if anyone prophesies over his ministry and gives him directions, words of not wisdom, gives his ministry major directions in what he needs to do, God's telling him to do this, he doesn't pay attention to it unless there's three or four specific words of knowledge in the prophecy proving that the person had supernatural uh, help from God talking to Rick Joyner. So if that's a prophet and he says he doesn't pay attention, it means that words of knowledge is very important in building credibility. Now clairvoyants use word of knowledge through using familiar spirits who've been around and seen everything that you've seen and a spirit of demon tells the clairvoyant things about your life and it impresses the person. So that's supernatural and it works. Um, so too, word of knowledge is very effective. It's just that many people who move in the prophetic gifts give these sort of um, very bland and generic sort of prophecies because they lack words of knowledge and they lack the uh, the courage to step out in word of knowledge and say specific things about a person's life. Uh, this lack of courage means that the word of the the prophecy is weaker. People, um, I'll give you an example. Um, when I was uh, about uh, two or three months of my wife had left me 16 years ago, I was in very hurt condition, and this senior pastor of a church. Uh, um, Pentecostal church said you're in a dark tunnel at the moment and you can't see that there's any light at the end of the tunnel and you're wondering if there is any light at the end of the tunnel 
And one day there's going to be a light and God's going to restore you and heal you. Then you're going to move into ministry. And in that day, you're going to be very mighty in the world or something like that. Now, the fact that he knew I was in that really dark place really impressed me. And through the years, as I've got better and better, it gave me hope that I was going to be healed and restored and brought to a place where I was happy being single and loved. And then it's given me hope for my future. It's like trying to put a building up with no mortar between the bricks. Words of knowledge is like the mortar. It's the strength in a prophecy. If, if, uh, if you give words of knowledge, people can depend on the prophecy because they keep on getting that word of knowledge, that supernatural information replaying in the mind. But it had that. But it had that. How would he know that? How would he know that? It must be true. He knew this. You know, he couldn't have known that. And so, although uh, moving in word of knowledge is risky, I encourage all people moving the prophetic to step out and start moving in word of knowledge. You're really doing people a disservice. You're doing God a disservice and you're doing people a disservice because they don't believe and they don't place as much strength in your prophecies unless they've got words of knowledge in them. They can be risky. But take that risk. I promise you, it'll be worth it. And I promise you, you'll get most of them right. 99% of them right. So you need not worry. I'll see you in the next chapter.